Hey everybody, it's your girl Tanya with Books and Brown Liquor. I thank you for tuning in to another chapter. This video is my book review of The Watchers by A.M. Shine, okay? Woo! Okay, I like this one. I really like this. How do you describe this? Um, this is like folk horror. And I know I've talked about this before because folk horror... Ugh, folk horror is one of my favorite like subgenres. It's something about creepy woods, backwoods people, you know, taking a wrong turn on a... I, it's just, I love this shit, you know, occultism and all that stuff. Anyway, this story takes place in um, Ireland. Damn, I feel so bad. I think it's Ireland or Scotland. Okay, look, Ireland or Scotland, but it's a land where there's a whole bunch of green, greenery and woods and stuff, okay? But I'm pretty sure it's Ireland. Anyway, <sighs> so you have a husband and wife. It's a Sunday and they decide, hey, we're going to go explore. We're going to jump in our car. We're going to go get some air, have a Sunday picnic, all that good stuff. So they find that as they get to a certain spot in the road, all the electronics die, including the car. And they find their, themselves in these woods where... Oh God, I'm trying not to say too much, too much. They find themselves in these woods where unbeknownst to them, there are creatures that come up from uh, underground and kill people. Yay, just what I love. Anyway, so these people, they cannot, they don't make it home. Okay, uh, damn, my bad. They don't make it home. They kind of get trapped in these woods because these creatures, um, they only come out at night. So basically, even if you do, even if you do, even if you're outside during the day, you know, when night falls, they're coming, okay? So what ends up happening is they're, they're, they're trapped there for a while. They end up meeting up with a few other people. So it ends up being a small group of people that are trapped in these woods. So they learn basically like how to survive in these woods. So they're like catching food, eating nuts and berries for a very long time. So, you know, people are getting skinny, all this stuff. Anyway, they're surviving. But the creatures in the woods, what are they? And honestly, after reading the book all the way to the end, I still don't know what they are, but I will describe them to the best of my ability. So they are very tall, very sinewy. It almost reminded me of that book, The Shuddering by Anya Alborn. If you don't know, now you know, check it out, Google it. I talked about that last year. Anyway, it reminds me of the creatures from The Shuddering. But these, these things, like I said, they come out from underground. They're extremely tall. They have very long, sinewy arms and, and claws. Only thing is, they look like a bad imitation of a human. They have these abilities where they can change their form. So like I said, they look like a bad imitation of a human, like a twisted, gnarled, horrifying version of a human. So like a creature with a human's face, but fucked up, okay? So that's terrifying, <laughs> okay? So like I said, don't get caught, don't get caught outside at night. So basically they got like a, a little hiding spot. They, they hide away at night. So uh, that's the dilemma. This, like I said, this is full core. This is not something that would like really happen in real life, you think. But um, I enjoyed the story. It was suspenseful. It was, uh, it was creepy at times. It wasn't the scariest thing I've ever read, but it was so intriguing because I think the feeling of being trapped and trying to get away from something that literally wants to eat you, that's scary enough for me. But uh, what I will say Sorry, I, she scared me. <laughs> I was talking, I felt something come up on me. But uh, what I will say, what was I saying? Oh, when you get to the end of the story, there's a plot There's a plot twist and then there's an ending that you're not expecting. That's all I'm gonna say. The Night Watchers, no, not my bad. 
I am so discombobulated today. The Watchers by A.M. Shine. If you like folk horror, if you like creature features, and that feeling of being lost in the woods, because I don't know why all scary scenarios, people are lost in the damn woods. But here you have it. This is for you. Folk horror, creature feature, lost in the woods, can't get away because they want to eat you. There you go. I enjoyed this very much. I like the originality of the story. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. So I recommend it if you like that type of thing. So that sums this up because I don't want to say too much. I thank you for watching as always. And you know, I wish you good reading. And if you have, oh shit, <laughs> Sorry. I'm so discombobulated today. Forgive me. Yes. If you have any book recommendations, let your girl know. Uh, bye. Thank you.